This is a video relating to working in the Philippines. Um, Clifford White sent me this message. For some reason, it's been picked up by my spam filter. If your comments haven't been appearing, the YouTube spam filter has actually picked up 24 messages that I've just located today. Um, so I didn't cut your conversations off. Um, YouTube did. But some of the language is quite colourful, so I can understand why YouTube done it. So... You've only yourself to blame in some of the cases. Um, but anyway, Clifford White was asking me, he wants to open a business in the Philippines, uh, but he's also thinking about working in the Philippines. But he's asked me four questions that, to start me off. Would a construction business be a good business to start and run in the Philippines? There are some expats running small construction companies around. A lot of them are trying to do it on a subdivision development, trying to flog you a bit of land, etc. Um... You need a network of people to do it. Um, you're probably more likely to find work doing something like air conditioning servicing um, or buying, renovating and selling property. Because um, like, like that, that works here in Spain because there's a lot of cheap properties that need renovation work. And although the profits aren't huge, the fact is when you do sell it, you, you can actually exist you can make enough to make a little uh, few euros every time a um, few thousand euros actually um, but the, the whole point is there is money in that uh, but if you're going to the Philippines for the first time it's a huge change um, the construction methods dealing with a local culture you will struggle for a, a small period of time to with the locals because you either get it or won't get it getting good labor is difficult it takes time to actually get good construction guys um, but then retaining them you, you need to be bringing in regular projects the best projects or the most regular ones are government ones uh, but then you've got the payment delays and stuff so personally I wouldn't go into a construction business in the Philippines um, not unless I had money coming in from other sources to the point I could manage to run a construction firm um, for zero, you know, no profit. So all the materials, everything is already there, it's paid for the project, and then when I get paid, I would do it that way. Um, because you do a construction job for the local mayor or something, you could be three, four months before you see one centavo off them. So... It's not what I would recommend. Uh, do you think to be able to get a job that can pay you enough to live for a year in the Philippines? Um, for a lot of expats, they wouldn't earn enough to be comfortable. For several expats, there is ways to make money. Uh, call centers use expats. Um, there is several expats that I know... Um, existing on call center work they're making maybe 20,000 pesos a month uh, so it is possible but they also have the gift of the gab they're selling quite well um, they could make more money themselves but they're in that scenario where they don't have enough money to start a call center um, so they need to work for somebody else because they've got bills to pay um, but the answer is there's, there is jobs there but you do need to have a c correct work visa you do have to finding the job saying the easy um, but it is possible um, I wouldn't rely on it I would, I'd be more a case of I've got money in the bank and I go there and I find a job then I'm happy but if I don't find the job I've got money in the bank uh, your question three is the same thing. What jobs are easy to find? It's mainly call center stuff. Um, beyond that, it's very, very limited because Filipinos do it cheaper. Uh, where do you think the best place to start in the Philippines is? Uh, Cebu is a good central central hub um, because it's in the middle of the Visayas. So you can go north to Luzon, south to uh, Mindanao, and then you've got everything in between. Um, job prospects in Cebu are fairly limited as well though but it depends if you're doing it for travelling if you're travelling I would say start at Cebu and then travel around because you can go to Bohol in a couple of hours you can go down to the Negros uh, 
Mindanao is not far. Luzon, you can take a ferry to Luzon from Cebu. There's a lot of access out of Cebu City. Um, so I hope that answers your questions. But I wouldn't go to the Philippines looking for a job. Um, I'll be honest with you, if you're looking at 20,000 pesos, that's only 300 pounds, something around that. So 300 pounds... Um, I would start making money online because you'll probably find that you can make maybe a hundred pounds a month online and then try and find other ways to top your money up. Um, it's not that easy to do, um, to, to actually go to the Philippines, just go, right, I want a job, blah, blah. blah. It's not, it's not that easy. Most of the expats I know spend months um, grooming um, or should we say kissing the butt of other expats until they got a job out of them uh, going to all the things like the the football matches the rugby matches and everything in between looking for expats that have got vacancies befriending them becoming their best buddy in the hope that they will give them a job jobs aren't easy to come by um, so I'd have a long, hard think because I wouldn't rely on making an income in the Philippines. It's just too risky. All right. Thanks for watching.